That's gonna be rough. Teach me the lore of Tranimal. Tranimal is a Toronto native, if I recall correctly, and okay. studied in Montreal for a while. Uh, probably a couple months left in Montreal. I think three months now. He moved, and then he moves back to tomorrow. Toronto, and then uh, he kind of like uh, was an up and comer for a while, and then uh, kind of semi-retired, went to Tioing, yeah. and then recently. The name rings a bell, yeah. Yeah, and then recently. Uh, back into decent grind, competitive melee. Probably, if I recall correctly, fourth or fifth or around that. If if he's inactive on the Montreal PR. What is he playing? Or uh, Sheik. Okay. Sheik. He's been playing Sheik for a while. Known for extending combos like crazy. Yeah. And some funky stuff. We'll see. We'll see what he can do. Yeah. And we saw Hyper, the man who slayed Zane, facing yes. up against the Sheik Amsa. And falling, we're gonna have to see the same story as mirrored. Uh, obviously, Amsa perhaps better known than Tranimal, but still, yeah. a difficult matchup for Marth in a lot of ways. And it's interesting to see their different takes on it, their the discipline they use to go for it. And yeah. Tranimal now looking to be the second upset on Zane to, to just we'll, end it right here. We'll see. Yeah, Ooh. he's like, if, if Hyper can do it in a Marth Ditto, I can do it with Sheik. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Just keep resetting. Maybe. Yeah. Well, there's uh, nothing. Like, there's no, no other hit no, that he can get, so you might as well yeah, side B. Yeah. I don't think a B could have reached there. Yeah, yeah. and you got to remember that, like, as much as as, as Marth can uh, have an interesting time in the Sheik matchup, like Zane's beaten Plup. Uh, yeah. I think that Smash Summit was not necessarily Plup's greatest performance, um, right. particularly in that matchup. But it's still like, you know. Plup playing at 50% would destroy almost every Marth. Yes. It's all about, Melee is all about putting your autopilot to the highest level you can. Yeah. And be the most consistent so that when you have a bad day, it's not that bad. Yeah. I agree. And that's uh, the test of Zane, right? You had a bad day, and let's see if you can make it not that bad. Let's see if your bad Ooh, day That was so quick, quick. He was so quick to the edge there. That was yeah. Yoshi S. He got yes. that last yes. scoot of the full wave dash, and then he could turn around at the very, very end of it. Uh, it's a little bit easier to do the PC drop on Marth than almost any other character because of the length of his wave dash. Kind of just sets you up really nicely on the edge. Uh, that's that's a classic Zane tech. Down there. Not up. See, but if Tranimal jumps there to avoid the down air, um, it gives Zane enough time to set up the next the next sequence. Big Yeah, this is crazy. This is rough. This is rough. If it still feels oh. similar to the hybrid uh, Opsa set, but reversed. Yeah, yeah. It's like the Where other Zane way feels so comfortable. <laughs> he's just kind of putting on a clinic. I mean, it, and it is true. Like that's, and we we're talking about that in those moments that hybrid had really good play. Uh, it just looked like the combos against Sheik were were so good and so consistent, and could cover everything. And that's exactly what uh, what Zane is trying to prove. Okay. Right, great needles. Yeah, that was that was really smart. Uh, well, then Zane just waits. He knows that he can drop down with a ouch. Ooh, with a dare. That was a big call, actually. Yeah. You can either go to the edge and dare, or you can try to go above on the platform. And then when Sheik tries to get back on stage, they're either gonna have to you know jump on you, and then you can neutral air like he did, or they have to go below you, and you can cover a lot with either just dropping down or doing a you know, shield drop, or aerial. Yeah. The man's got options. Yeah, not much uh, Tranimal could have done there, actually. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I've been theorizing about this for 10 years. All right. <laughs> what Zane does. What Zane does? Yeah, Are yeah. you? Uh, I this, feel this, like, this, oh, this, oh, I got, I'm, I just got the reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I definitely just right. got the reference. It's okay. all right. Shouts to Blur. <laughs> Big brain. Uh, fighting for the <laughs> corner, though. All right. Ooh, the downer doesn't actually get the timber. Uh, that would have killed Tranimal. Feeling already dead. He's like, that should have killed me. Yeah, he's like, ah, nah, I'm his dead. His spirit dead. gives up. You sometimes do see that in Melee. There's two kinds of players. When the players feel like they should have been dead, they kind of like deflate a little bit. And then there's the players that are, are happy to play the it's role like, of Lazarus. Oh, you gave me the yeah, second like, life. <laughs> like, Here you back. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I totally get that. The undead. It's like, oh, I'm not dead? Yeah, oh. yeah. It's a beautiful moment. And sometimes it's like, oh, I'm not dead. And then you just give up. Yep. I've seen that look on Tranimal face before. Not it's, looking good. Yeah, and that is the thing that Plup 
tweeted out after his set with Zane. He was like, I, I just could not catch him. Uh, and if you look at how Zane moves, it's it's very like, you know kind of apparent why he mixes up his his dash lengths. He adds in little uh, Kekdor dashes and, and wave dashes to try to mix it up. It makes it very very hard to predict him. And then he'll randomly throw out, not randomly, but he'll be able. It, to it seems random, right? But it's not. Spoilers. Yeah. Ooh, nice just one. movement alone is not enough because that gives your opponent opponent the safety to try to make hard reads. It might still be hard to catch you, but they can at least try. But if that was a really cool attempt at like double down air. But yeah, double down air is uh. Is sick. Oh yeah, not as cool. Not wanted a bit of swag and yeah, kind of just got punished for it. Sometimes swag is not always good. Yeah, sometimes. I prefer swag that doesn't lead to SDs. Yes. Yeah. Some, actually, unless it's a actually, trade. Unless yes. it's a trade. Actually, I was going to say To win that. the game or something like that. SDs are swag if you win the game. For sure, for sure. Ooh. With the big stuff. You're like, you want to stand in place? I'll call you out. Yep. Yeah, Zane is actually one of the better Mars I've seen about punishing stationary options. Uh, once you start consistently uh, spot dodging, he will he will begin to forward smash and charge forward smash against you. Um, he's definitely willing to to play that game instead of just trying to, to guess and be kind of wimpy about it. Yeah, see right there? He's yep. starting to catch on to Tranimal's spot dodge habits and the way that Tranimal defends himself from, from Zane. And if you don't actually keep up with Zane's movement, then you're forced to use those kind of options. Ooh, whoa, okay. The double back air. Not Two? Air. Three? Three. He's, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> trying to go for the trace. He's the trying trouble. to go for the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Trying for the, the, I don't know what you call it in 2018, the Giffy Cat, the, the clip, the whatever. Hey man, whatever you need to do to get the views. The odd shot. <laughs> it's all about the views. Rest in peace. Ooh, okay. Just trying to get a raw hit at this point. Oh boy. Oh, that's actually pretty smart. We talked about it a little bit earlier in the broadcast about how Mart's up B is one of his best options at high percent when he's facing the Martharitis. Uh, down smash I've seen Zayn use against Sheik. Maybe not as yeah. much as Mewtwo King does uh, versus, you know, Sheik or, or Peach. Um, you also have the option to try to mix in better use of up airs and falling up airs to set up for your forward smash. There's a lot you can do, but ultimately Mark does have a pretty clear flow chart against Sheik off stage, uh, and you can always retreat to that if you're not feeling like you can get anything going on stage. Oh, the edge cancels. Whoa. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Weird recovery. He kind of, like, he had the ledge and just... Yeah. Go see it. how Zane delays his way back to that edge for so long? Yeah. Great back air. When we saw uh, Hyper getting good kills on Amsa, a lot of times it was because he would do a, a back air to kind of call out that first uh, jump. Ooh, that was tricky. He did the same like wave dash, turn around to grab the ledge, and then stop just right, right before the ledge just swung. Yeah, it's really cool. Ooh. So let's see if we can focus on what Tranimal can do uh, as as Zane blows this lead open wider and wider. Yeah. Ooh, messes up the move. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be a wave land and then maybe a forward air. Could even be an up air. This is uh, kind of looking rough. It is looking rough for Tranimal. It feels like he's just going, ooh, yeah. yeah if you look at the player that, right there, yeah. the, the hand up in the air. Got to recenter yourself, reset your game. Just another mark. It's, it's not but, just another mark. <laughs> but you got to say that. Yeah. You have to lie. <laughs> You have to you lie, have to to lie on melee. stream. It, it's true. I think to, to be truly great at melee, there needs to be a significant chunk of your brain that's delusional. To believe that you are the best is true. Is to for be a the best, time. you need to believe it. At the beginning, it is delusional, and then you prove that you weren't delusional, right? But we always forget about the people who just stay delusional. Yeah, we. That, that would be. Uh, we would be. Part We're not of that. naming names. We're not naming names. 53% on uh, Zane on Dreamland versus Sheik Tranimal. Oh, okay. my man! Give us something to hope for. Let's go. Give us, right. give us something to be proud of. Canada's watching. Oh, Zane. Oh, you, the hedge don't, cancel don't, is covering don't, so much. Don't do my boy like that. It's Please. terrifying. Stop. Man, just to make it back to ledge, but can he Stop. get back on? Zane, going uh, a little bit too the, far. Yeah, a bit too much swag again. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe he did that on purpose just to like, all right, you, you can have this one. I don't or, think so. I think I think he's trying to do what's right. Okay. I think he thinks that that in flurry of hitboxes is really a strong option. And it did look difficult for Tranimal to, yes. to find his way back throughout the that blizzard of down airs. All right, all right. Tranimal, three. Let's go. That's the probably his favorite move. <laughs> three downers in a row into nothing. Hey, but that's I mean, sometimes how it goes. Like but the three downers were sick. That was sick. Okay? Sick downers, man. Yes. <laughs> all right, Tranimal we'll with take that. an all right showing. And Zane looking a lot stronger than you'd expect given the fact that he's yeah. in losers this early. Yeah. However, it is losers top He made that 32. look like a round one pool. Uh, yeah. He, he like, yeah, he yeah. Three stock. I, I, I think it doesn't do justice to Tranimal there. He's a However, good player. Like, we're still in losers top 32 sure. round one. Like, sure. Tranimal did, got... 25th yeah, out yeah. of 500. Yeah, man yeah. But I so. mean, that's, 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 there's levels, man. I mean, that's it happens. Really, you get 